Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Battle today is on the Proc Rub map, and we've got Bandito Jr. in his Barask. As you can see, he's three marked it, so now he's a great player in this tank. And if you didn't notice, he's um, using improved aiming, uh, vertical stabilizer, and vents to improve the characteristic of the gun. And here we go. Oh, nice jump there. Clears the uh, railway carriage. If you need to have a bit of speed to do that. If you do that in every tank, you'll just hit the rail car, of course. But, um, yeah, let's go. All right, heading to the hill, but um, take up an early position here to spot tanks crossing. Yeah, just, just running his. Um, you can see he's not running a full um, vision kit. He's used to the gun characteristics he's trying to improve. But he's managed to get in place to spot this renegade. And the renegade obviously not paying attention to the minimum. He did get spotted on the way in. But uh, he managed to dodge this shot. So there we go. Two shot auto loader. With a fairly rapid reload time. The gun handling is sort of one of the main issues with Barasks here. Yeah. Close and personal is probably the preference if you can do it uh, by flanking or catching distracted tanks. And it's got an amazing um, camo for its uh, type. And here you go, spotting the lance and sea. Picks up the full damage pretty much. And now he's got some mediums with him. Complete trio of CS52 LIS. And uh, they're confusing the hell out of the enemy right here, which is yeah, playing to Bandito Genius strengths here. So take out the ML, and now this is uh, Vipera just battling with the um, CS-52. And he's managed to get rid of two of them, but he's still distracted by a third one, and Bandito Jr. is just about to load in, and he should be able to take him out, which he does. So it goes for the reload as he runs down the hill, and he's got the CS-52 with him. And they're in a full platoon. There, so he's lost, lost two of his <laughs> colleagues in that quick rush there, but um, there are already three tanks up due to that action. He's coming right to the back here to basically put these tanks on the edge of his view range, he doesn't get spotted. Puts a shot into 7032, doesn't penetrate unfortunately, he does get the second one and he does get spotted there. It looks like by that Lorraine 40T, who for some reason is just about in the middle of the map at the back. It's a bit odd, but um, Bandito picking up. Good bit of spotting damage from that tank. And he just comes up here to keep his um, spotting capability up and of course to do damage. So gets a shot into the 7032 and he gets taken out and he picks up some spotting damage. So he's already picked up 2.6k of his own damage but also another 2k of assisted damage. And uh, this game is turning to a bit of a walkover. So there's six tanks up, they've got about 4,000 hit points in hand. Oh, they found a T-34-3 who's got no idea that Bandito is here. He's definitely distracted by the tanks. And Bandito puts in full clip there. Gets another 700 odd few points of damage. That's taken to 3.4k. So, seven tanks up now. Still got their sort of 4k advantage in terms of hit points. And he's coming here to basically wipe out the tanks in the corner here. There's three TDs, and they're all likely to be in this position. Here we go, the um, CC-67, Bandito getting two shots in, and just continues to push in here. He wants to light them up. He can afford to take a hit now. There's only these two tanks, or three tanks left. He is taking a lot of hits here, so he can't afford too much more with that. G-Saw's used all its um, clip potential. Gets taken out, and now he gets to use the body of the uh, G-Saw as a shield, and he can just reload here, take out these other two tanks, one shot into the SU-130 PM and the next one to the CC-67 and now it's just the Pershing left but he will be gone by the time he gets there and there he goes. So a very rapid fire battle but very aggressive play and he's got over 9k of combined damage. And that's in the high caliber reward. He's also picked up the uh, tank sniper reward and he's also earned the um, ace tanker mastery badge. Let's have a look at the team score. Oh, wow. 
Okay, it's finished well on top there. 1737 base experience. Um, next best player was Progetto with 1281 and getting 2890 base, uh, oh, sorry, damage. Um, got quite a few tanks doing over 2k, which is good. And an enemy team, the Lover did 1643, but still finished on top. So it indicates the, well, the SU-130P I would have um, given up from a spotting. But uh, yeah, very few tanks. Well, in fact, the SU-130 PM was the only one tank got over 2K. So a bit of a failure on the enemy team, but that does happen. Um, particularly, you know, once you lose a few tanks early, you can get a complete rollover. All right, so economically, it's gonna be a good game. So fired 14 shots, every shot hit. So perfect shooting, 13 penetrations. Let's get into the damage. I uh, had personal reserves running. Uh, as well as mission payouts, um, but uh, in paying for consumables and uh, some premium ammo, he still made 250,000. That's just an immense uh, payout. And look at the experience he's as well with uh, missions. So, yeah, look out for the missions, um, they can really give you a benefit. All right, fantastic game there from Bandito Jr. Uh, 4 minutes 25 seconds of gameplay that's just an amazing result there um, look at you know what a great player can do but uh, see what parts of that you can pick up and, and add to your own gameplay is really what this channel is about so don't don't feel like you can't do some of that um, there's some really good uh, play there you can you can use for your own uh, ideas anyway thanks for providing the content bandito um, really appreciate that uh, and if you're watching this and you like it please give the video a thumbs up hopefully if you haven't subscribed already you'll consider doing that um, and we'll have more great content to follow so thanks very much for watching